Hey guys, so today's video is going to be a tutorial on the look I'm wearing. This is actually like a super, super, super simple look. Um, I know I do kind of looks that look the same on my channel. Not the same, but I do very simple looks. But I wanted to do a tutorial that was focused around a red lip. Specifically like a glossy red lip. Whenever I wear red lips, which is a lot of the time, it's my favorite lip color to wear. It is always matte. 99% of the time I'm wearing a matte red lip and I don't know if you can tell but this red lip is a little glossy So I wanted to do a look focused around a glossy red lip This is like perfect for the holidays or whatever even though Christmas is like super far away But I wanted to keep it very simple There's like barely anything on my eyelids and it's just like a smudged out eyeliner Because I feel like sometimes makeup tutorials are hard to follow on YouTube And I just wanted to do something that everyone can do. Literally, the only thing that's a little bit difficult is the false eyelashes, but just pile on that mascara and anyone can do this. Like, Cornelius can do this. This is honestly the look I would do every time I'm gonna put on a red lip. Just because I don't like such heavy, heavy, heavy makeup on the eyes when it's paired off with like a red lip, I don't know. I know it's like kind of dumb because it's super easy, but maybe someone out there will like this. So yeah, if you wanna see how to get this really simple, but. I think cute look then just keep watching so the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to prime my eyelids and I'm actually using a concealer to do that because this is the Mac Pro Longwear concealer and I love this because it does not crease and it lasts a really long time so if you don't have an eye primer then go ahead and use a concealer because most of the time that works I'm gonna take the Lorac Mega Pro palette I'm gonna take this color right here called Fawn this is a fluffy morphe brush and I'm just packing this color on my entire lid. I chose this color because it's very, very, very similar to my skin tone. And I wanted something just to set the concealer. I didn't want too much color on my lid at all. This is an LA Girl gel liner in very black. And on this little e.l.f. brush, I'm going to tight line with this. And I'm also going to apply it to my waterline. Now what I'm doing here is applying the eyeliner on my lid. But I'm applying it very, very close to my lash line. I'm not being very precise or anything because I'm going to end up smudging this out. But this is perfect for beginners or if you're someone that just doesn't like to use gel eyeliner because it's a little bit difficult. Doing this is still going to give it like an eyeliner effect. It's going to make your eyelashes look thick at the base. So this is another Morphe brush. This is a smudger brush. And I am just smudging out that gel eyeliner we just put down. I'm also going to extend it a little bit just to make my eyes look like they are a little larger. Kind of like a wing. I'm going to take this color right here called Vanilla and I'm going to use this to highlight underneath my brow bone and I'm going to highlight in my inner tear duct as well. This color is intense as you can see but I blend it out. <laughs> and then that's it pretty much for my, my eyelids. I'm going to take these eyelashes from Eyelashy and I'm going to apply them. You can just pile on the mascara if you're not comfortable with eyelashes. I'm going to start on my face. This is my Smashbox primer. This is a little sample I got and I'm testing it out. So I'm applying this to my face to prime for my foundation. The foundation I'm going to be using is my Neutrogena Healthy Skin. This is in the shade Nude. I love this foundation. It's perfect for people with all different skin types I feel. Mostly normal to dry skin, but it's a nice buildable coverage and it's a really, really natural finish. Now I'm going to cover up my dark under eye circles. I am taking the MAC Pro Longwear Concealer. This is the same concealer I used to prime my eyelids. I love this concealer because it does a great job of covering my dark circles. And I'm also dragging that down a little bit just to give my face some more light. I'm blending that out with my Real Techniques contour brush that's perfect for concealer. This is the Maybelline Fit Me Powder in 135 Creamy Natural. It's a really light powder, so I like to use it to set my under eye concealer. I'm using an e.l.f. brush to set it, and I definitely recommend setting your under eye concealer because it's gonna help it from creasing throughout the day. 
going back into the Lorac Mega Pro palette, I'm taking this color right here called brown and I forgot to zoom you in on this part, I'm sorry, but I'm basically just taking a little pencil brush. I believe this one is a grease brush from e.l.f. and I'm just smudging that underneath my lower lashes just to make the look a little bit more smoky and put together. Now I'm going to take my Sonia Kashuk Cream Bronzer. This is in the shade Rich Bronze. This is a Morphe stippling brush and I'm going to start building this color up little by little because it is very dark in the pan but it's very buildable. It doesn't come off so dark on the skin. So I'm just going to start building that color up. I haven't used a cream bronzer in a long time and recently I have been loving cream products. Next I'm going to take this cheek tint and luminizer in the shade Get Lit in the pink, I think. Get Lit or in the pink. Um, it is a cream highlight and underneath it has a cream blush. So I'm taking the Get Lit section, which is the highlight, and I'm going to stipple this onto my cheekbones. I did um, clean off the Morphe brush before I applied this. But yeah, I love this. It's a cream highlight. It is very, very creamy. Looks beautiful. It's like subtle. It's not too much, but it does give such a pretty glow to the cheeks, like a light pink kind of glow. I'm going to take this bronzer. This is my Physicians Formula Bronze Booster. This is the perfect bronzer for beginners, I feel, because it's, it's pigmented, but it's not too, too much. It's such a nice wash of bronzy kind of color. It's matte, and I love it. I'm using this on my Zoeva brush. I forgot the number of this brush, but it's their giant tapered highlighter brush. It is amazing. I love this brush for everything. I use it for everything. It's pretty freaking amazing. So I forgot to put on some mascara on my lower lashes, so that's what I did. And then I'm going to add some blush to my cheeks. This is the Tarte Amazonian Clay Blush in Exposed. I love this blush because it's not too much and it's perfect for this time of year, especially with a red lip that I'm going to pair it off with. It's subtle and it's really natural. It goes with so many looks. I recommend this blush a lot. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to line my lips. This is the True Red Lip Liner from LA Girl. Next I'm taking this Beauty For Real Light Up Lip Gloss in the shade Really Red. This is similar to those Gerard Cosmetics lip glosses that have like the light on it. We press the button, I don't know, I don't have any of those Gerard Cosmetic lip glosses, but it's cool that it has a light and it also has a mirror. This lip gloss honestly didn't need a lip liner. I just put a lip liner so that it doesn't bleed because this lip gloss is so pigmented it feels like a liquid lipstick. It's incredible and it's glossy and I was so impressed with the pigmentation. I really, really like this lip gloss. So I'm just applying that right on top of the lip liner to give it more of a glossy look. And then that completes this look. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you in my next video. Bye!